My name is Malcolm Steiner. I'm an endocrinologist, which is the study of glandular disorders, and I work out of Atrium Hospital in Middletown, Ohio. The goal of the thyroid cancer evaluation is to separate um, those folks who have a serious problem that need aggressive, lifelong treatment from the vast majority who have a problem that is going to be easily curable and really has no long-term consequences after good surgical treatment up front. Patients come to me with a diagnosis of a possible thyroid problem and they're concerned about um, a lump, usually. Discomfort may be the reason that they see it. A woman, as she's looking in a mirror, may see this asymmetry, uh, might feel some pressure discomfort or feel uh, difficulty when, when swallowing, right? Uh, hoarseness is a sign of a much more advanced problem because the thyroid is right on top of the nerve that, feel, that uh, controls the vocal cord. The symptoms of thyroid illness are, are very non-specific. Um, they're shared by a host of medical problems. So fatigue, hoarseness, can be caused by lots of metabolic disorders, including thyroid disease, but also chronic anemia, uh, problems, so far as fatigue is concerned, uh, problems with anemia, uh, problems with chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, calcium metabolism problems, chronic illness from uh, muscle disorders, um, fibromyalgia. Are there uh, specific symptoms for the diagnosis of thyroid cancer other than a mass developing on physical examination, on self-exam? Uh, you know, the, the woman who feels her neck when she's putting on makeup or when she's looking in a mirror uh, and sees an asymmetry. The guy who, while shaving, notices a lump that didn't used to be there. Um, there really isn't a specific thyroid cancer symptom or sign. What is thyroid cancer? Uh, like any type of cancer, it's a disorder of uncontrolled growth. In this case, it's the thyroid gland, the gland that that lives right over the breastbone at the base of the neck. Looks like a, uh, a U-shaped uh, gland. It's about uh, uh, two inches tall uh, and about half an inch wide and deep uh, on the right lobe and again on the left lobe. The needle aspiration test is uh, a procedure that most uh, endocrinologist in the last decade have been trained on in the United States. It's done by uh, identifying on ultrasound which of the thyroid lobes has an area that is irregular, um, usually a lump that's pretty well defined on ultrasound. The lump itself is usually pretty small, uh, about an inch or less, and it's usually about uh, half an inch to an inch below the skin. Uh, then I infiltrate the tissue with uh, some lidocaine, and that just numbs it up. Lidocaine is what we use in the dentist's office. <laughs> it's pretty rare that people have any problem with lidocaine. And that makes the tissue uh, around the, the area that I'm going to be uh, biopsying uh, numb. I now tell patients, yes, you've got a thyroid cancer, 
and the likelihood is it's going to be very similar to a skin cancer. You treat it simply, surgically, once, and you're done with no long-term impact on your life. We've got aggressive options available. But the fact is, because most thyroid cancers we pick up are, are very early stage, a relatively uh, simple surgical procedure uh, is sufficient. The surgery should be done by uh, someone who uh, is comfortable discussing the risks with the patient. Now everyone who goes through this type of surgery because you have to have a plastic tube in your airway during the surgery will have some hoarseness and that should be gone within weeks to months. The smaller the incision, the less the, uh, tissue is removed, the lower the trauma and the shorter the recovery period. If the thyroid surgery is more aggressive, you would expect a more prolonged recovery. Uh, so the recovery could be anywhere from two weeks to two months. Thyroid is a gland at the base of the neck, right above the breastbone, which produces thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone goes to cells all over the body, through the bloodstream, and gets into the nucleus, where all the genetics that run the cells reside, and it controls the rate of metabolism for that cell by uh, adjusting uh, nuclear signals. All these patients who have their thyroid gland removed are going to need thyroid hormone replacement for the rest of their lives. If a patient only has one lobe of their thyroid, basically half of their thyroid removed because it's such an early stage cancer, they may not need any thyroid hormone because the remaining thyroid tissue is perfectly satisfactory to meet their body's needs. A lot of patients have microscopic involvement of lymph nodes in the neck and it may have a very um, low likelihood of affecting their life expectancy. Most patients are going to have a low-stage thyroid cancer and very little impact on their life expectancy. 